everyone. Thanks for stopping by. This is Amy. I am going to be painting Black Eyed Susans on this uh, vase. I'm just going to do a few on the front of the, of the vase and we will go ahead and get started. I'll go through the paints real quick. I'm using Light Lavender, Bare Brown, Real Brown, Moon Yellow, Thicket, Fresh Foliage, Licorice, and Sunflower. Now, the brushes that I'll be using tonight are a three-quarter inch, well actually I don't think I did use this. Um, take that back. It's going to be number 8 Royal Aqualon 2170 a number 12 plaid one stroke brush plaid brush quarter inch scruffy brush also a plaid one stroke brush a Westonia fine line brush and another Westonia fi uh, fine line brush these are actually fingernail brushes which I absolutely love and hope that you will too. Have you ever used fine line brushes? If you have, leave me a comment down below and we will go ahead and get started. Alright, so what I'm going to go ahead and do first is take a little bit of the brown and the two greens that I have right now and just go ahead and, and start my design by putting in the stems. And I am mixing the combination of the two. Just going to do a quick video today on the f showing you just how I did this on the front of this face. And we're going to leave it at that so that it's not too long of a video. Using the three colors, I'm going to go ahead and put in some of these. They're, they're thinner, kind of like one stroke branch, or not branches, but leaves. But I am mixing them with three different colors. My, my point is trying to get them to be a little bit more opaque. I'm not a good one when it comes to branches or leaves. Any, well, any of my painting being transparent. I'm not really sure why that bothers me, but it does. I keep running into my, I have a new little setup for my videos and I keep running into it. Something to get used to, I guess. And I can turn this, of course. And I keep forgetting that I can. I'm basically just putting some leaves in here to get started with. And some of them will be darker than others. When you're finished putting in the, the flower part, you know, you can go back over what's, what's showing. Um, I'm a very big leaf person, so you will see me doing a lot of leaves. I went ahead and I hit this with a heat gun just so that it's not as wet. It still might take on some of the green even though I did that. I got a little bit of green in there. So what I'm doing right now is just using one color, which is the sunflower. Again, I, it did pull in some green, so just bear with me on that. Sometimes I have a hard time making my petals long enough and thin enough. If you are someone that does not like the petals to or to pull, I shouldn't say petals, but to pull in some of this other color, then you might want to allow it more drying time. Now I'm going over it with the moon yellow. 
and I was going to go ahead and start on my next flower but these are going to overlap so I didn't want to do that because I wanted to be able to paint over it again and not mess it up. Alright, so let's go ahead and go back to the overlapping one. Now you can double load your brush and do these at the same time. I did a, a sample one a little bit ago and, and did it that way, but I wanted to try it actually doing it this way with just a single color at first. Again, my um, demo here of what I'm doing is a sample of what can be done. It's meant to be easy. So I don't want anybody to be like, oh my gosh, it's so simple. It's meant to be simple. My goal is to create stuff that especially, you know, for videos, especially, items that anybody can do. Because I, I think it's important that people not be afraid to try it. I'm sorry, I just hit my... Just hit it. I don't want people to be afraid to try it. I want people to, to be creative and not shy away from it. You know, even if you're not Picasso, who cares? Right? Who cares? I work with my grandkids all the time on that. You know, create. Use your imagination. You are welcome to paint any design I do. I'm not going to look at it as you're stealing my design. I want you to feel free to do it. I mean, seriously. I definitely want people to do it. Now, if it's something I'm selling and you're copying it, then I might have a problem with it. But when I'm doing my videos, I'm not saying that I'll never have a video that it's something I'm selling, but I would definitely let you know. You know, and if you have things that you do, I'd love to see them. And I try to put my link to my Facebook. I need to, I thought my name had been changed for me, but it apparently had not. I mean, part of it had, but part of it hadn't, so I'm trying to get my name fixed on my page, but uh, my business name is what I'm referring to. You can use this brush on the side, on the, you just make your, make your, I said it's kind of, do it this way, that way. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I would love to hear what you think. Um, love to share. Love to see your work. If you've done something that I do, but you have maybe a better way of doing it, or a different technique, and like to share it, please, by all means, do. I want to see. I want to see. So I make sure I don't run out of video space here. All right, so did this. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I had mixed a color with the Teddy Bear Brown Engine Red. I don't think I showed you the Engine Red. Here's the Engine Red, and did this click. So I did this as an earlier video, and me, goofy as I am, realized that I did Black Eyed Susan's without the cinders being black. Or having any black in them. Like, mm, duh, somebody's going to point that out, I'm sure. So, of course, what am I doing? I'm redoing the video. So, we're almost done, kids. We're almost done. So I'm just taking the, the long bristled, and I'm going to do it backwards here, just because it's easier right now. But I'm just doing some adding some additional color 
Now, some people are really good at doing this, just using the chisel, chisel edge of a fine, or not fine, but a flat brush. Go for it. I like the way this looks using this liner brush, and it's just one of my favorite brushes. If you see me use it in some of my other videos, it just really has helped me be able to do more of a wispy center. I still need to practice my centers. I so if anybody has a has a key to that one, please let me know because I really want to practice those as well. I just wish I had more time to do everything. Like I said, I spend so much time babysit my grandchildren. And now a couple of them are in preschool, so we've got that going on, trying to get adjusted to that schedule. And it's like a circus some weeks, but it'll get better, right? I just like being creative. My brain needs to do this. And I wish I could be more creative. All right. I keep moving here. Kind of rushing here. So we'll make sure, like I said, I don't run out of battery life or video life. Video card life, I should say. Like I said, you can do these thin, thick, further down, do them where you have a fuller, fuller brown amount. Yeah, we do like that, but it actually is better to do it the right way. Yeah, like I said, I could be doing this thicker. All right, so here we go. So now I'm going to remember that I need to have some black in this. I have black and I have the real brown. I'm going to use my scruffy brush and I am going to tap in the centers. Now you can make it to where it's rounded or you can come up a little bit. Sometimes they have more, some of the things I've seen have more of a cone shape. It's up to you. Either is, is fine. Again, my centers are still wet, so I'm pulling in some of the other colors, so I'm just going to roll with that. Like that. These are some of the smaller ones. Just want to make sure I get the centers in them. I, at this point, would recommend the way it's working to hit it with a heat gun at least so that you have some some of that drier or um, at least that little taller here. Give it some drying time. So that you have that crisper edge than what I'm getting because it's going into the wet paint. Either way is fine. Gives it some interest, right? And that one has a little bit of green in it. My brown had a little green in it. Like I said, if you want a little bit of the brown to show, just go back in and tap it in some if you wish. This one has to wait too much yellow for me. And you also can wait till it dries if if it's something that needs to be touched up and touch it up then. Okay. So then the last thing I'm going to do as far as the flowers go is just come back in here and then just kind of tip in some of that light lavender. This kind of gives it a little bit of interest doesn't have to be, um, you know, 
it done a certain way. I'm just kind of putting it in there. So it's still pretty, pretty wet. Obviously, I just did it. So just kind of moving it. There you go. Now, going back to the leaves, they've dried a little bit. If you wanted to go ahead and repeat what you've done already, just to make sure that they are thicker, you can do so. I don't know why that's working this way. Going like that. You can actually connect up in here. Just make it you know, like, like you've continued it up. And then you also can add into it. If you just want to do some quick, you know, different leaves. I mean, it's basically the same shape, but they're more of the one stroke, very simple leaves. Just trying to tap that in a little bit better. I guess my worry is that it's too thin. And just keep filling in where you feel like it might pick in my vase away. I'm going to take it and run. Not really. I'll scrape off my brush a little bit here. And then come over here. I, like I said, I'm a leaf person. If you're not, then by all means, do not do what I'm doing. Because I'm putting a lot of leaves on here. I'm just filling it in. Just kind of making it a little bit nicer, I think, because it's fuller. You can use filler leaves. You can actually do different leaves um, or flowers, filler flowers. There's cute little ones that you can do just to add to it and give it some interest. Like I said, I could just go on and on and on, but I'm not going to. All right, here we go. Like that. If you think you might want some up in the top here, do that. And then we're going to be done. But at least I did get the black in there. Couldn't believe it when I finished. I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even put any black in it. Those are black eyed Susans. Alright, so here you go. My version of it. Don't have to do it this way. I hope it gives you some inspiration. If you like my videos, though, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Share my videos with all your friends and family. There's a real easy button at the bottom. You can hit that and share. And again, don't leave my channel without giving me a big thumbs up. I appreciate it. Any comments, anything you'd like to see me paint in the future, please list that below the video in the comments section. I always love to hear from my subscribers. Again, thanks so much for stopping by and taking your time to view my video. Hope you liked it, and until the next time, you have a good one.